Hello, hey guys, I'm Jitin Vaswani and today I'm going to share my journey on how to start as a digital nomad and what are the like favorite, like my favorite digital marketing hacks. Okay, so I'm going to talk more about that thing. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to share my screen with you people and thank you so much to Brian for inviting me here as a speaker. Like, thank you so much WordSash team. I really, really appreciate it. And all the speakers, I'm really excited to, for, for you guys. And thank you so much for inviting me here and to share my journey. I really want to share my journey. And I really want to create positive impact on the people life here as a digital nomad, right? So I'm going to share my journey, how you can be a digital nomad. And what are the processes? What are the hacks I am being following here as a digital nomad, which can really help you to make money online, which can really help you to hear as additional man which can really help you to create an impact right it's all about creating a positive impact as additional man right so let's get started i'm gt indrawaswani i'm the founder of bloggers ideas and and as on the screen so you can see i'm a founder of a podcast like inside hustlers brain podcast where i did interview with grand cardoon gary v neil patel all these kind of top-notch influencer right so i, I want to share like what was my thought process here to interview all these speakers like Grant Cardoon, Gary V, Neil Patel and how you can create a community like them, right? To create a positive community like this, right? As a digital nomad, right? So I'm going to share my strategy and my processes here to be a digital nomad and let's get started and do subscribe to my podcast Inside the Hustlers Brain Podcast where I do interviews with all the top-notch entrepreneurs, hustlers, digital marketers, and digital nomads. I'm Jitin I'm Vaswani. I'm a real-time hustler, a car digital nomad. You, you. Okay, I'm the founder of Internet Marketing Blog. So that is a blogger's ideas where I share interviews, where I do a lot of content related to how to make money online, right? How to make money, how to make money online as a digital nomad. Okay, I was an ex brand ambassador. So I'm going to share my story about how did I become Pania brand ambassador in 2015 in India. Let's get started. And the number one thing I always do, I do business with empathy, gratitude, and kindness. So like this is an like this is my first and the foremost like strategy I always follow in my business. I always do business with empathy, gratitude, and kindness. It's very, very important for me, right? And how you can also do your business with empathy with gratitude and kindness okay so let's get started and now i'm a digital nomad based in bangkok and now you know like things are very rough in thailand right due to this the economic crisis of about the coronavirus like it like it is impacting a lot of business owners like a local business owners like restaurants like food like the food chains and um, like the malls like everything is getting so impacted here right now in thailand and all over the world like it's the economic crisis like the right like the recession is coming like the bank of america have already declared like the recession is here and like like 20 to 30, like 20 to 30 thousand people in us will lose their job right so it's a high time like to be a digital nomad and how you can find your way to be a digital nomad how you can make an impact about being a digital nomad it's very very important so so this is the right time for you people to be a digital nomad or if you are a digital nomad right, right now and you want to scale your business as a digital nomad, I'm going to share my secrets, my strategy for you people so you can reach out to the next level as a digital nomad and let's get started, right? And my story, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to share my story in short. Like, I did my engineering, like, four years of engineering in 2008 to 2012 and it was full of torture, harassment, like, I was mentally, like, mentally tortured by my teachers i really hate them my college sucks to be very honest and my teachers now they reach me on linkedin hey gta indra i see your linkedin you are doing amazing jobs i i just say to them like you guys were after my life you guys really like discourage me always you guys always push me down i just say what i feel right because my teachers in my college they never encourage me like that's the like that's the problem in our our society right now like we as a as a human beings we don't treat people with kindness empathy and gratitude that's a problem right and same happened with a lot of people who are going to the college like the young kids 
they go into the college students and they are not happy with their life they, they are not happy with their college they are not happy with their teachers and same like same thing happened with me i don't have any interest in college right and after doing engineering i i started doing a job of 100 dollars per month right like that was my first job into seo like i did my job into seo like digital marketing thing right and this job was a very low paying i like i was doing seo i was doing a little bit of digital marketing and this job was creating an interest in me right like i i have done engineering then what i have to do i have to just start some a low paying job man 100 dollar in a month in india was a very low paying job to be very very honest for me very very low paying job for me in india especially so i left my hometown in in jaipur due to my family pressure i want to share my story like why did i leave my like my hometown because my mom was always worried like i have a low paying job like nobody will marry me i i will be very loser like because the indian society it's a mindset it's a mindset they have that kind of mindset like if you're not a successful doctor or engineer or lawyer or mb whatever is is it they then you are not su successful you will not get married right that's i don't know like what's the kind of like the mindset they have but now the things are changing slowly in our culture like in in, in india and now my family understand my business like after a long time when i see like i'm making money um, i have a good personal brand i'm i'm creating impact like i'm creating a positive impact in 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 the student's life right it's very very important because i see this thing because i get a lot of messages on instagram on linkedin on my facebook every day like sir you have changed our life we watch your videos we watch your content we watch your blog you have really created an impact and how did i recover like recover from that trauma of being an engineer like it was very very tough for me because i was mentally depressed i was mentally harassed by my school teachers like a school or you can say the college teachers i was really harassed because they used to harass me every day for my like for this kind of stupid grades like a grade a grade because I, I was not good in studies i was not good in studies to be very very honest so so things were very rough so that's my story and from that like four years of hell then i started this job and it changed my life i'm going to share my process and um, after doing it like job for like two and a half years i became a full-time blogger uh, or so you can say a full-time digital marketer and what kind of like additional nomad thing like a, a digital marketing hacks i followed so i don't go broke right so i'm going to share my strategies my hacks with you people like how you can make money as additional man how you can follow these hacks without getting broke because a lot of the time i've seen like digital marketers get broke because they don't follow the path they don't follow this process they they, they don't follow the rules right they always are into the comfort zone, right? So I'm going to share this strategy and let's get started. Your comfort zone is equal to income zone. Yes, it's true. Because I've seen this thing, like a lot of the time people are staying in their comfort zone. They are not creating a positive impact, right? They are just being into a comfort zone. Like people are saying the sweet things, like they're giving you, they're always saying like always, like always they are doing the butterflying you, right? So so this is a very big like a, the biggest mistake you are making like just staying in your comfort zone you are not stepping out out of your comfort zone you just want to watch the netflix and still you want to make a lot of money you want to have this kind of business you you want to buy this kind of luxuries right but still staying in the comfort zone will really not will will really not help you to reach out to the next like a next tennis level right right you are you're so it's totally your comfort zone will be your equal to income zone right if you're staying too much in your comfort zone you will be only able to make a small amount of money to be very very honest and i have seen like these things with a lot of my friends from college they are staying in the comfort zone they are listening to their family they are listening to this like the society the friends they don't listen to themselves like it's you versus you at the end right it's you versus you at the end right it's very important what's your financial freedom like they want to have financial freedom but they don't think what is financial freedom how they can achieve the financial freedom if they're staying too much in comfort zone how the fuck you can achieve the financial freedom right it's not possible what's your attitude towards money i've seen like a lot of time like these people don't have a right attitude towards money they they don't think like how money can work for them 
they don't work for the money right how you can build that kind of processes how you can build that kind of systems which can help you to make more and more and more and more money by not being in the zombie zone like nine to five right and are you taking action in your life like a lot of time like i've seen my friends they don't take any actions like they are not serious they really want these things but they don't take action they don't do the self audit like self awareness it's very very important like as a digital nomad you want to be a digital nomad right you need to be self aware like you if you really want to do do this thing you have to be self aware like these are the things like you can really follow to be a digital nomad and your comfort zone is equal to income zone always remember this thing your comfort zone is equal to income zone and i've seen this thing and people have fall off and like they are crushed like literally they crush whenever the economy gets crushed they, they, they lose their jobs they they lose their business or maybe a additional nomads who are staying in the comfort zone they are not taking action they are not trying to upgrade themselves they are not doing the networking right so it's it's very important and someone who wants to be became a digital man show me your friends i will show you your future like it's it's a very famous quote by dan panna and this guy is really like a billionaire he's a billionaire so he's 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 very straight to your face like he will fuck on your face right now like show me your friends and i will show you your future yeah that's true like i've met so many people across the world like like last month i was in us i have now i have like her as a business partner so she told me like i have these kind of friends and i want to start my business online i want to be digital nomad like you i want to leave my job i really don't love my job i'm getting the money but it's not keeps it don't keep me happy like i i i don't want to follow the rules like 9 to 5 9 to 5 9 to 5 i say what are who are your friends i ask her who are your friends so she show me her friends i say like these are your friends and that's why you are here Like show me your friends, I will show you a future. Like that's so true by Dan Panna. Like it's super important. You need to choose your friends wisely. I have those friend circle in my social media, like on my like a blogging spare or or my digital marketing community. I have those kind of friends who always try to support me, who always try to push me to the next level. Right? It's super duper important. Right? It's super duper im- important. So always follow this process. So whenever you are just starting out as as a digital nomad. you you need to change your social circle it's very important like i'm staying in thailand i have those kind of people who are always there to who who are always there to push me to the next level it's very important because if you don't do this thing you will never be able to achieve the success you will never be able to achieve the success trust me because your friend circle will influence your life your job your business your your entrepreneurship career i have those kind of friends who have that kind of positive energy the positive mindset i need always and how did i meet this grand cardoon so i'm i'm going to share this story also in my next slide so you you can understand this how did i meet grand cardoon and let's start with how i got pioneer so pioneer is a international payment gateway right it's just like a paypal right so how did i got pioneer as a brand ambassador in india right so they saw my online profile like that time in 2014 i left my job right but i have my good blog at that time my i was doing the blogging from two years while i was doing a job i was doing blogging because i used to go to to my job like 9 to 6 and after coming like 7 pm i used to start working again on my blog every day like 5 to 6 hours 5 to 6 hours i was creating the creating the content seo content seo content seo content seo i was doing this thing a uh, lot of people they used to call me stupid like why the fuck are you are you, are you doing this things every day you are coming from office and you are hustling every day you are just hustling 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 and you don't have your personal life you are not going for party you you are not having girlfriend i say okay my right time will come i will have all these things once i have my business set up i have everything now i travel the world i have travel like 16 to 18 countries right now i have done the kind of shit i i never never expected like i've traveled a lot to be very honest as a digital nomad so pioneer was there in india in 2015 for a dinner for a net, for a networking dinner and they saw my profile and they invited me to have a dinner i said okay let's meet and they have a lot of people who were there but a lot of people were focusing on the drinking and the partying like the booze like they they want to have the booze right okay it's okay i'm i'm not here to judge you you want to have party but you you came here for the business i i came here for the business and i want to meet um, i want to meet uh, pioneer team i want to do business with them right i want to do business with, 
with them like that was my goal in my mind i created like i have to get them on the board so that moment my friend like she's she she was my partner there uh in pioneer and we decided to to get pioneer on our side like we we need to get it we need to get them right and we we started talking with the pioneer team like how we can help them to grow their brand in india like a, they want to do events they they want to do like a big big conferences like a seminars right i say okay we can help you and after the two, two days we got a mail that we have been selected as a pioneer brand ambassador and so that's the story like you are at the event you are at the networking events what you have to do you have to meet people be shameless and ask them how you can help them understand their problem right and pioneer team have a problem they want to set up their brand in india and we solve their problem and they choose us as a brand ambassador so this is how i got pioneer and what about the grand cardun so you want to know about the grand cardun how did i meet grand cardun neel patel and and gary v right grand cardun uh, last month i was in vegas las vegas and i was there for 10x conference like 10x baby so um, i was staying at the same hotel because the grand cardun and his team was updating his show they were updating their, their social profiles on instagram on twitter like uh on facebook stories instagram stories they were updating and grand cardun was up updating i'm here i'm here i'm here i'm here come join my event come join my event so on so uh, so on 18th of Feb february i was uh, because the event was on 21 february and i reach the event like like the hotel like two days before because i know like two to two or three days before and i know like grand cardun is staying at the same location like the same hotel so i i booked that same hotel and i know like he's he was posting his updates on instagram like i'm at this place i'm outside this restaurant so finally i found him like after hustling for four hours i finally found grand cardun and i took on my camera and i started doing interview hey grand i um, i follow you 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 are the one i really appreciate in my journey and i i started doing interview with him like how to live one person lifestyle how can people live live a lifestyle like you so you have to be shameless so you need to have the dedication you need you need to have a patience right i have the patience to meet grand cardun because i fly i specially flew from bangkok to us to vegas come on it's so long journey like 27 28 hours i have to meet grand cardun so that was my goal i had inside my brain like okay i have to meet him i have to meet him i have to meet him so i did it finally right so you you need to have a desire and how did i meet gary v gary when a chuck right so you guys know him like a real time hustler like come on gary v so i was in india there was a rice conference in hong kong so i i specially flew from hong kong to uh, sorry from india to hong kong to meet gary v so i was a media partner there so gary v was there just sitting in front of me doing some interviews so i grab him i have a picture i did a small interview with him gary v and this is how i meet him because i have a desire i want to spend money i was investing into my personal branding you need to invest money so i was investing the money in the right way and a lot of the time like digital nomads they don't invest the money in the right things they buy the luxuries they buy the rolex they they want to stay at expensive location so that's the thing i'm going to share right now so this is how you're going to get broke as a digital nomad so don't get broke while being a digital nomad right guys it's very important so start like reduce your location ties a lot of the time i've seen like digital nomad like these are the mistakes which can avoid you to get broke like follow these things so you will not get broke as a digital nomad right like a lot of time people get broke come on come on don't be broke don't be broke man it's not good it's not good so so reduce location ties like a lot of the time i'm seeing like digital nomads they want to stay at expensive villas except like expensive hotels right this is not the right thing if you are just starting out as a digital nomad you save your every single dollar and invest into your business so this is how you are going to make it to the tax level right it's very important because a lot of the time i see like digital nomad they they don't invest the money in the right things it's very important right it's very very important do this thing don't stay at expensive places live as cheap as possible until and unless you are super rich digital nomad right it's very important don't go broke while staying at expensive like while you look while you are making people look like a rich but you are broke inside don't do this join join a digital nomad community it's very important another point it's here it's very important join a digital nomad 
community which will help you to become a digital nomad right so how you can become how you, you can be part of digital nomad right the communities in chang in I'm, I'm i'm staying in thailand so i follow the meetup groups so on meetups you will find a lot of time like there are some events happening so you can join some facebook groups where people are doing a lot of events related to digital nomads in thailand in anywhere you are staying in bali you are you're staying in us wherever like which location you are staying it doesn't matter for follow some facebook groups join meetups from there you will be aware like what kind of events are happening and join them and make your community make your whatsapp group make your facebook groups make your telegram groups skype groups this is where you're going to build your community your army your army your army of digital nomad so this is how i build it like whenever i go to people i ask them to, to join my group or join my whatsapp where we are sharing our stuff where we try to help each other like everyone needs help right everyone needs help and when you're starting out as a digital nomad you can be a freelancer also right when i started being as my own journey like as a digital nomad i started as a blogging because i was good in blogging you can be a freelancer in anything like a translator or any kind of jobs like any kind of skill you have you need to know your skill like you can be a designer a coder a blogger a youtuber a food blogger a vlogger anything anything it's up to you decide what kind of freelancer you want to be i decided to be a blogger so i just started this and another thing like um i realized this thing like a lot of time like digital nomad they don't have a nomad insurance it's a big big mistake it's a super big mistake guys don't make this mistake because i've seen like a lot of people like a lot of the digital nomads they don't have a nomad insurance and then then they get broke why you guys want to be broke right now why why you want to be broke don't get broke like when you have an accident you have a medical emergency you should have insurance it's very important and that's where like because one of my friend like james um he was from thailand and um, now he shifted to us again like he met with accident and uh, he didn't have any kind of insurance and that's where he lost his money he met with accident and he had, he had to spend a lot of money and and that's where he he got broke because if you stay in out, out like outside your home country you have to spend a lot of money on health like on medical things or have emergency fund here right and this is where i'm going to talk about emergency fund a lot of time like additional nomads or additional entrepreneurs they don't have an emergency fund for their business like now the time like the in this economic crisis of of coronavirus right now it's happening in 2020 like it, it has killed many business owners like online i've seen like a lot of business owners who were de depending on the one industry in online business like they were depending on maybe dating and maybe like uh like like something like you know like a lot of online businesses have crushed up right now like in dating like sales are low like you you totally you will uh, online travel agents like you you have a travel blogs you have a hotel blogs like hospital like hospitality industry is down right now like tourism is down right now like yeah nobody is traveling due to this virus right now so yeah so this is where you can use your emergency fund in times of prices like this this virus right so i can survive because i already have my lot of my emergency fund like if anything goes wrong with the economy or my business i i have my emergency fund to use it always so have it don't make this mistake of not having emergency fund avoid bad relationships yes so that is also number one thing right now so a lot of time i've seen like digital nomads or entrepreneurs they have a bad relationships so maybe it's with your friend or your family or your business partners right avoid this avoid this bad relationships because one of our friend he's adam like and he was having a re relationship with, with a thai lady i told him like come on man this is not the kind of relationship you want to be in right now because she's not the one she's she don't have a digital mindset she don't have a digital entrepreneur mindset she's very different you are different you're just you you just want to have a relationship because she's beautiful she's a blonde chick don't do this i did this mistake and i i have faced a lot of like like a big time crisis not in terms of money but i wasted my lot of my time my energy like these things happen so i'm sharing my own personal experience don't do this avoid bad relationships have healthy and the growth mindset relationship with your friend with your girlfriend or with your wife find these kind of relationship that can help really help you to grow it's very very important why you guys don't 
understand it like having a bad relationship can really create a massive impact on your business and i've seen this thing many times people have bad relationship and their business goes down it's everything is down to be very very honest and stop partying too much yeah just true being a digital nomad i see like a lot of digital nomads they want to party yeah 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 it's okay it's okay you want to have party it's okay i'm not here to judge you but what i want to say you party but invest your time into your business more because your business needs more time because a lot of time digital nomads get into the with their party zone like that's their comfort zone they want to party too much then after six months or one year they realize like their business is not growing they they are suffering a lot of loss in their business everything is going down for them like everything is crushed like everything is like a break for them like oh my god my business is gone like i i'm not able to make two thousand dollar a month also right now so that's why and that's where they get broke like that, that's the party mindset you need to get out of this kind of mindset like a party mindset guys it's very important okay and how to make money as a digital nomad how to make money as a nomad right as a digital entrepreneur right so these are my strategies so this will really help you to to make money as a digital nomad right like i shared some hacks with you about uh, being a successful digital nomad and how you can make money i'm going to share a lot of uh, like like a lot of tips like a lot of things on be becoming a good digital nomad like making good money having a healthy re relationship with your friends your business partners or with your with your loved ones or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your wife or your husband right it's very important so how to make money blogging with affiliate marketing right so you can see my blog that is bloggers ideas where i do a lot of affiliate marketing i promote a lot of info products like ebooks or training courses of like grand cardoon like you can see master class courses i'm promoting a lot of good courses on my blog like which are real which which can really help you to be a digital nomad or which can really help you to give a give you a good education about any industry you want to go in into digital marketing right because digital marketing is so wide like you have email marketing you have affiliate marketing you have domain you have ebooks like a lot of things are there into digital marketing space right so i do a lot of training courses reviews i promote hostings i promote vpns i promote e-commerce softwares i promote amazon softwares i promote a lot of things on the blog which are related to digital marketing right so you can start your blog like this is where i'm making money with affiliate marketing right and drop shipping drop shipping with amazon fba shopify or big commerce anything right so a lot of like digital met i've seen like they start their business as as a drop shipping so you can start doing a drop shipping with amazon fba shopify or big commerce because if i'm going to go deep in drop shipping it will be very long video okay so drop shipping is like so you can start with amazon fba or shopify because these two are very profitable right now because in in times of like this like people want to buy online more because they are not willing to go outside their homes so the e-commerce e will grow like in some industries some niches like e-commerce e will really see a huge spike right now like buying hand sanitizers face masks like immunity booster like people want to buy immunity booster like immunity boosters right they they want to boost their immunity right now because the corona virus really hit hard in the like in the world right now like everyone everyone wants to take care of their health so e-commerce will see huge pump right now so you, you can sell some creating t-shirts hats posters or like bags on tea springs like amazon merch a lot of sites are there so you can create all these things because if you're so creative so you can sell all these things and creating simple apps like um you can create some podcast app or you can be a developer who can create apps for interviewing people like i want to share my secret like why why i do this kind of interviews interviews are, are the best way to build your personal brand online as a digital nomad like this is the best way to build your personal brand online right because if you really w want to be a digital nomad right so to be a digital nomad interview other people like other top-notch influencers just like i did interview with grant cardoon carrie v neil patel because these guys have created so much of positive impact in my life positive super duper positive impact and because if you have these kind of a positive atmosphere 
it will really help you to get higher like you will be able to push yourself to the next level every time so do these kind of interviews right if you're starting out as a digital nomad try to interview other digital nomad like that's my secret sauce of becoming a successful digital nomad because even if I don't work for three, four years, like next three, four years, I can survive easily. I can make a lot of money. Still, I will be making a lot of money at the back end because I have my systems. I have my personal brand. I'll like the leads will be coming to me because I have done interviews with the top notch influencer. Right. So this is the thing. And how did I do it? Just go to the events, meet these speakers and ask them, like be shameless. Ask them, how did they create a positive impact in your life? Tell them like you, you, you really want to give them some value. So they will be happy to say yes to you, right? Create WordPress plugins and themes. If you are WordPress developer as a digital nomad, so you can create themes and plugins. It's another op option for you. So you can sell photos on sites like iStocks or producing some royalty free, uh, free music for sites like Audio Hive. These are some certain options. So like these are some marketplace so you can still make some money here right so this, these are another option so keep on trying all these kind of different options i'm sharing with you which can really help you to make money as a digital nomad now the thing come here for personal branding come on that's the personal branding i'm good in personal branding so i'm going to share my strategies like why you should have pictures with the with your industry or your niche experts to build trust in personal branding, right? In in your brand building, right? Because this is the number one thing I use to build my brand as a personal, as, as a personal, as a as a personal digital nomad, right? Because I build my brand as a digital nomad, and personal branding really helped me to grow big, and it has really helped me to get a lot of leads from for my business. I am able to build build a team of twenty people. How did I build it? It's just because of personal branding, like having your personal aura in your in your digital nomad thing and how you can make it whenever you're going to the events, right? Always try to have pictures with the top notch speakers. It's it will really help you. Trust me, like this is this is my secret sauce, which has really helped me to out to build your personal brand, which has which will really help you to to get trust from the people who want to start their business online and they want to follow you, right? Once they see your picture with Gary Vee, Neil Patel, Grant Cardone, you will have impact in their life. And now I'm going to share some entrepreneur's portfolio examples. So this will really give you an ex like idea. Okay, what kind of portfolios I should have? Like, why should I create personal portfolio like xyz.com, like GaryVee.com, GrantCardone.com, right? They have their own personal portfolio, right? Personal branding, right? It really helps them to sell their books, their courses, their events their seminars whatever they they want to sell online if you have a personal brand if you attach your personal brand into digital nomad thing this will really help you to make a lot of money because i'm as a digital nomad i'm using my personal portfolio right i'm going to share my personal portfolio so this will give you more example right now adam brown the founder of promise of, of a pencil why he 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 wrote this book right that's a new york times bestseller why he wrote this book and through this book he wants to create a, a positive impact in people's life and with this positive impact he's able to get the testimonial from richard branson come on man it's not an easy deal to get a testimonial from richard branson and deepak chopra it's not an easy deal and how he did it by creating some kind of positive impact he he wrote a book and through that book he really want to create a positive impact in the child life right so that's the promise of a pencil have a motto have a mission behind your digital nomad journey i have a mission to create impact in people's life like i really want them to teach them like hey this is possible like being a digital nomad is possible if you really follow these actions if you really follow these strategy strategies this will help you to be this will really help you to be a digital nomad like a, a badass digital nomad right because if i can do it then you can do it right there's no secret there's no secret the, the secret is hard work and real efforts. Are you putting efforts? Are you eating your own shit? Like Gary Vee always say, like Gary Vaynerchuk, he always say, are you willing to eat your own shit? Are you willing to die on your own sword? I'm willing to die on my own sword. I, 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 I don't want to eat someone else's shit. I don't want someone else to order me, like rule over me. I want to be my own boss. Be your, be your own boss as a digital man. How you can be it? By following all, following all these kind of top, like a top-notch entrepreneurs 
doing the reverse engineering on them reverse engineering right that's the strategy i followed when i was starting out my journey as a digital nomad another example like a john chow he's a top notch affiliate marketer he makes like six to seven figure in affiliate marketing in profit in commissions every year from his blog johnchow.com he promotes a lot of offers like click funnels and make money online offers he do his events he do speaking he do advertising on his blog so he makes money from his blog his personal portfolio johnchow.com and that's a big brand he have a lot of traffic he have a lot of trust in the eyes of google right so that's the thing i want to tell you like it's possible right if you build your personal prof portfolio and you start sharing your experience about making money online, about how to be a digital nomad, how to start a blog, how to start your niche blog, anything you are interested. If you start your own personal blog or your portfolio, people will start following you. If you really have a strong message, people will follow you for sure. Of course, it will take some time because for me, there is no thing called like overnight success. There is no thing like overnight success. You show me this thing. Okay, it's not possible. There's no overnight success. Like people work hard, like John Chow, me, like everyone work hard, like six, seven years on their blogs to make some, like to start making some kind of stable income. So it takes a lot of hard work, right? And my portfolio. So here is my portfolio. Like I'm on the home homepage. I'm, I'm showing like knowledge with execution is a new currency of digital marketing because you have a lot of knowledge on any niche, any industry, any kind of business right but if you don't take any kind of execution right if you don't have execution right so this will be only a knowledge because a lot of time i see like my friends into the job they have the knowledge but they don't do the execution like they have they have the ideas okay i have this idea i have this like expertise in this in industry but they don't take execution to the next level they don't put efforts they don't put their ideas into the real world right so it's the new currency of digital marketing, right? I am international keynote speaker. So I, I, on my portfolio, I showcase like what kind of things I'm doing right now to create an impact. I, I show like I'm an international keynote speaker. I'm a digital marketing consultant, living a laptop lifestyle. So write about you, write about your message, right? What are you doing? What's your purpose behind this portfolio? My goal is to create a positive impact and I, I, I really want to create a positive life around me and I, I want to create a lot of digital nomad around my circle. Like I want to create a lot of su successful uh, digital nomads, which can really make money online and create an impact on other people's life. Because if you are making money and if you're not helping other people to make money, then this is not the life. You, you are not giving back, right? Have a habit of giving back to the community. So now I want to give back. To the community by teaching them how to be a digital nomad right so on my portfolio so you can see i have like this like um about me about me my services my private coaching my speaking my te testimonials i have the social proofs so these things will really help you to sell your training course your speaking your private coaching courses if you have all these things like if your portfolio is well built if you go to my portfolio right now gtendra.co so this will give you an idea what kind of things what kind of elements i have on my portfolio i have my own book i have my own podcast inside hustler's brain so this really gives me a lot of trust like people trust me in digital marketing space because i did interviews with all the top notch digital marketing guys in the industry right so do this thing like have your portfolio so this will really help you to get a lot, lot of leads for your business like speaking trainings right and another example is Louis Hoffs. He's running his own podcast, like uh, the School of Greatness. So through his podcast, like his podcast is is downloaded over 150 million times. Like it's, it's a huge number, right? And he's doing it from like eight years right now. So that's the kind of, through his podcast, he's selling his live events, right? Where he's making a lot of money, right? So why your personal portfolio will help you to make a lot of money? Because you want to make and impact on people's life and you you can make money online with integrity with honesty if you follow all of these kind of footsteps and if you follow these strategies i'm sharing with you people because i'm sharing with you live example like the real example like people who are creating positive impact right golden rule yeah now here comes the golden rule man golden rule 10x your network is your net worth yes 
what I see at, at the events, like a lot of the time, like people are not, not serious for networking. They don't want to network. They don't want to talk to people. They have an ego. They have that, that kind of egoistic mindset. Come on, take this shit out. Like, okay, don't, don't have this kind of egoistic. You're here to learn. Everybody needs help. You are at the event, you are making $5,000 a month. You want to reach to the $10,000 a month. You need help. I'm making like $20,000 a month. I want to reach to the $60,000 a month. I need help. I'm making like $80,000 a month. I want to reach to $200,000 a month, right? So everyone needs help. You are at the networking event. You are at the private workshops, at seminars. Scan, 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 scan the room. Scan for the people who are the right people for you, who whom you can form the business partnership, whom you can work, whom you can make some money, crazy money, like do some kind of business partnership. I have found a lot of good business partners by going to the events, meeting people, trying to understand the business, trying to understand the mindset. It's super duper important, guys, why you don't understand it. Like it's, it's a golden rule. Your network is your net worth. I have my network of people now. They know me. They trust me. And I get the business every day, like... I get the leads every day for me. Now I don't have to work hard because my team is doing the work for me right now, right? Because I've already like six years, I built my network. I put my head down, I meet people. I don't have the ego working very hard. Like I'm putting real efforts. I'm putting 100% efforts into my business. There's no overnight success. I meet people shame, shamelessly. I meet the speakers. I ask them for the interviews. I take selfies. I. I do videos, whatever I want to do it to create a personal brand, to do networking with them, I do it. And a lot of the time I see people at the event, they are sitting on the mobile, blah, blah, blah. they are chatting, they are busy, they don't want to focus what the speaker is saying, they don't focus on the networking. It's the worst thing so you can do at the event. It's the worst, worst thing you can do at any conference. It's because people complain, oh, this event is not good. This is not the place where I, I want to be. Uh, I didn't like the or, or, or organizer. I don't like the speaker. I don't, it's okay. You don't, you don't like that person, but there are hundred people out there in, in that room. Why don't you meet them? Why don't you try to find, find out that kind of partnership with them? But no, we don't want to meet them. We have that, that kind of egoistic mind right now. Why? Why you have that kind of mindset? If you really want to be a digital man, you want to be a digital entrepreneur, you need to take your ego aside, like keep this beside right now, like ego thing and meet people. Try to find out the partnership because everyone needs help. Remember this thing, everybody needs help. You are making six figure, you want to reach to the seven figure a month, you want to reach eight figure a year in profit, in revenue, in sales, you need help. Okay, so because that's why you are here and people don't understand this thing. They just come, they just listen and they, they don't take any actions. This really pissed me off, right? People don't take action. They just listen to the speaker. They get motivated for six, seven days. There's nothing like six, seven days or you get motivated for two days. Why? Because you're not self-aware. You're not, you're not doing auditing on you. It's, it's way more important. Why don't you audit yourself? Be self-aware. Create your own social circle, right? Please don't waste your time at the events, please, because that's a precious time where you, you can make your network and you can make a lot of money with those kind of amazing opportunity. You don't know who can be your next business partner, whom you can make like six figure in a month in profits, right? Because I, I'm doing this right now partnership. I was in New York like last month and I met this one girl like at one Shopify event. Now we are on the verge of the partnerships right now. like. We are here to, get, to create some, some kind of PR marketing agency in New York right now. So that's the kind of thing I'm doing. I'm meeting those people. I'm finding those kind of talent because I want, I want people. I want network. I, I want to grow like uh, to, to, to the 10x level. How I can grow to the 10x level? You give me a reason. It's not possible without the network, right? I need the people. I need the army, right? Army of positive people, like hungry people who want to have success, who, who really want to create impact, who want to make money, who want to build business, who want to build a real business, right? I want this, right? So this is how I get it. Meet people at the event, talk to them, ask them, I ask them, what's your problem? How I can help you? And this is how you're going to make the, meet the right people, right business partner at the events, at the seminars. Do this, your network is your net worth. Remember it, guys. Why networking? I've already told like don't poke your nose in everyone's business like a lot of the time I, I see it I see at the like at the event like people want to poke their nose into everyone's business like they are not 
here to give value. They just want to know your secrets. It's okay to know and know my secrets, but first you have to give some value. You need to understand their pain points, right? It's very important. And money will come, money will come, money will come if you build solid relationships with those people, right? It's important. It's very important. Network with the right people and your business grows 10x, baby. Trust me, it grows. And just want to share this thing like how did I got the testimonials, right? Like testimonials, if you get uh, some high authority testimonials from the industry people, your portfolio will skyrocket, like your brand will skyrocket, like people will trust you more. They want to work with you because they see the te testimonial. Like this guy, the Jack Muscovich, right? He's from domain, domain industry, domain attorney, attorney in Canada, right? And so you can see the, I met him at the Domain X event. I win his trust, I work with him and he gave me a testimonial. And why he gave me a testimonial? Give me a reason because I gave him some value. I took his interview. I asked him how I, I can help you, right? Because everyone needs help, right? Everybody needs help. It's true. So I asked him how I can help you. And he was, help I helped him and he gave me the testimonial. Ron Jackson, the owner of DN General, why he gave me the testimonial. I met him at the Domain X event. I, I, I gave him some suggestion how you, you can make changes in your blog how you can make your blog more user friendly. And he said, wow, you give me some nice tip. I like you, let's work. And he gave me the testimonial. So like testimonial from high authority people in your industry can really help you to get clients. And it is helping me as additional man. I'm getting a lot of clients by using these kind of testimonials. I show them like I work with them. And the key points of being like, if you really want to be a good digital nomad, Follow these key points. You need a laptop, of course. You need a good laptop, good internet always. Build your portfolio. I have already showcased you all the examples, all the strategies, how you can build your personal portfolio, which can help you to get a lot of clients and people do it. I've shown you example, right? John Chow, Louis of Gary V, Grand Cartoon. They have their own personal portfolios. That's why they're able to make money at huge level, like they like the 10X level, baby. Yeah. Follow business ethics and make money. Always follow business ethics, right? Don't just make money. Follow the business ethics. Like a lot of people, they want to go into short term making money strategies. I don't follow this route. I always follow long term money making strategies because this always helped me to make money, right? Following the long term strategy for making money. It's, it's the one of the best aims I'm playing right now because I want to follow the business ethics because a lot of the time people want to make money but they don't, don't follow the ethics. So this is not the thing I really want to do in my life. I want to follow the ethics. I want to build, build a brand like Gary Vee, Grant Cardoon, like Neil Patel because I follow these guys. I, re I respect them. I follow like they are my idols right now, right? I'm their mentee, right? So build network and relationships. Do it, do it. Build your network, build your army. Build your army of people who are there to help you out, right? Who are there to help you grow your business. And don't forget the people who have helped you in your journey. Like a lot of the time I see like people forget, like if someone have helped you when you were at zero level, like ground level, right? But that person have helped you to make make money. That, that person have helped you to grow your business. That person have helped you in the times of crisis. Don't forget these kind of people. Because I have few friends in my life who have helped me in the times where I was broke. I was literally helpless. I was I was needing emotional support because I've through I've gone through a lot of break like bad breakups in my life in in terms of personal life. So they have helped me. So don't forget those people who have helped you, right? If they need your help, if they need like anything, like help can be in, in the form of money, emotional support, or any kind of support. Help those kind of people because they help you when you were nothing. You were on the growing stage, right? Remember this thing. And, and the laptop lifestyle is equal to $12, like a digital nomad lifestyle is equal to a lot of money. And how you get money? I've shown you an option like blogging, domain business, like buying some domains, premium domains, affiliate marketing, speaking. You can be consultant on any niche, like you're expert in food. So you, you can be food consultant, right? You're good in digital marketing. So you, you can be digital marketing consultant, right? You can be content marketer, right? You know how to market the content digital marketing, even blogger, you can start your training or courses just like I am doing my training and courses because I'm I'm good in teaching people how to start your own blog, how to start your own online business. So you have your 
industry you have your niche so you can start training people how how to be a forex trader okay that's the kind of thing right so let's do it and no no action is equal to no money remember this thing no action is equal to no money if you don't take action if you listen to my talk but you are not taking actions no action is equal to no money no money remember this thing okay take actions see you at the top of the world keep hustling never ever give up i really hope you guys get some value here and here are some free knowledge bombs so you can subscribe to my blog that is bloggersideas.com slash subscribe and you can reach me out at email id and i'm here to help you out if you have any questions related to digital marketing and if you want to hire me for private coaching or digital marketing trainings i'm here to help you out i really want to, to see you success and i wish you a lot of good and healthy life right now in the times of economic crisis due to the coronavirus please be safe stay inside home please take care of your health please take care of your loved ones your father or mother your old like you you have some old members in your family please take care of them in this time of crisis and i, I wish you a lot of success and thank you so much brian for having me here and and thank you so much guys please show your love support me and i'm, I'm here to wish you a lot of success Keep hustling, never ever give up. Bye-bye.